Number 30. Angles are important, but we are sure this one is somehow perfect. Number 29. She really didn't mean any harm. I mean, all she was trying to do was help the guy in front of her with his anatomy lesson. Number 28. And then Thumbelina came falling down from the sky wearing a bikini. I swear to God, man. Number 27. Either the photographer had the most impeccable timing, or the diver had the most buoyant head in the entire universe. Number 26. That one time when my elbows made me look like I had the biggest tits in the world. Number 25. Half chicken, half man. This popular actor is eternally grateful for the fact that his movie producers could edit the films he was in, despite the fact that the camera adds 10 pounds. Number 24. The baby may have been born with a petite body, but her hands were big enough so that she could literally hold herself. Number 23. When Seabiscuit started getting depressed about his fellow racehorse being taken away to the glue factory, Ellen took matters into her own hands and did what she could to make him feel more comfortable when he was alone on the pasture. Number 22. Nobody could honestly deny the fact that sweet little Anna had inherited her dad's mind and her mother's body. Number 21. He said, I must stash you a question. And then he proposed to her, hoping that he would learn how she grew the full beard he had always wanted for himself. Number 20. We tried to tell Marcus that the pool was a painted-on optical illusion, but it was too late. In his heat-induced stupor, he just dove right in headfirst, and he's been wearing that diaper ever since. Number 19. Milbert patiently sat at the bus station every single day with a big bag full of tennis balls, trying to convince passerbys that he was just a big baby and only wanted to play. Number 18. All Spot was trying to tell his owner was that perhaps her Kim Kardashian-inspired lip enhancement surgery might not have gone as well as she thought it did. Number 17. Nobody could understand what George did to get all the girls to hang out with him until he posted this picture on his Twitter. Number 16. While everyone was distracted by the girl-on-girl -girl action taking place up front, nobody even noticed when Polly was kidnapped by the creepy guy that nobody invited to the party. Number 15. Lisa was determined to let the world know that centaurs are real and they do still exist and that some of them were actually pretty good cooks. Number 14. Here we see some extremely rare footage of Benjamin Button visiting his grandchildren. Number 13. His mom tried to tell him that she really wanted him to meet a nice human girl and settle down. But Frankie was more like his father and couldn't help the fact that he and Rover had so much in common. Number 12. The situation wasn't really his fault. After all, Richard tried numerous times to tell his wife that he wanted a girl this time, but she just didn't listen. Number 11. With such a large family, there would be someone who was bound to ask where babies come from. Rachel, the eldest sister, was back from college to answer questions and give demonstrations. Number 10. Molly and Maggie have managed to become two of the longest living conjoined twins in the country, but yet they still can't agree who's the prettiest on their Facebook profile picture. Number 9. Monica was sure she would eventually find love through a new online dating website, despite the fact that she preferred for her right breast to always be hanging out in the open. Number 8. This couple took their wedding vows very serious. The priest said that marriage means two become one, so they charted a plane to a foreign country so that they could have the surgery completed before the honeymoon. Number 7. When the family adopted Sparky from the animal shelter, we all wondered how he got his name. Now we know that it's because he is half golden retriever and half deadly fire breathing dragon. Number 6. All Chuck remembered from the job interview was the boss telling him how all employees were required to dress to impress. That and the fact that he had been told for years he had some pretty nice legs. Number 5. After about the 10th time Eric stole her pantyhose to wear to work, Kelly decided that she was tired of the games and was just going to throw him into the river. Number 4. Jessica was tired of being called a racist by everyone that day at the beach just because she wore a svelte black guy as a ponytail. Fashion was what fashion does, and as far as she knew, there were no rules against it. 
Number 3. His friends threw him in water, but forgot that he has the power to run on water. Number 2. Lydia thought that she could hide her exposed butt cheeks behind the dining room table, but what she didn't realize was that they were all made of glass. Number 1. Despite constant criticism she received, Kara was still proud of the fact that her father was part Labrador, which is why she had no qualms in posting her selfies all over Facebook. Subscribe for more.